Salutations, ladies and gentlemen. I am Joe Woodley here on JoeSpeaksLife.com. That's JoeSpeaksLife.com. And I'm so excited to be sharing my very next video blog with you here today. This is number two. This is number two. We made it to the second one. And I want to share a really encouraging word with you today. And that word is opportunity. Opportunity. Okay? I want you to focus on that word opportunity. Because certainly as you're going into this week, you're going to face challenges. There are going to be difficulties. There are going to be things that come about that are going to test your patient patience. They're going to test uh, your fortitude. And frankly, they're going to test your will. But Romans 8 and 28 says, and we know that all things, all things, all of these things, all these all of these things that look like they're difficulties and issues and, and problems, all these things work together for the good of them who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. All things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according, called according to his purpose. And ladies and gentlemen, you are the called of God. And certainly you're going to face difficulties on your job or in your business, whatever it may be. But I'm here to let you know that big bucks are paid to people who find solutions to big issues. Let me say that again. Big bucks are paid to people who find solutions solutions to big issues. And so I want you to change your vocabulary this week from problems to opportunity, concerns to to opportunity issues to opportunity i want you to take the negativity out of whatever is going on in your life whether it be in your business your home your finances whatever it is and begin to see it as an opportunity for greatness opportunity for greatness because opportunities for great greatness don't occur in things that have already look like they've been established you know, IBM is already established. Apple's already established. Uh, Sprint is already established. Uh, JP Morgan is already established. But ladies and gentlemen, you have an opportunity to launch into greatness. You have an opportunity. Why? Because all things work together for them who are called, who are called for his purpose. For the, those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose, there's an opportunity for you. So I want you to look at this week, change your vocabulary and say, what opportunities lie ahead for me this week? I know we have our plans. We have our itinerary. We have a list of things that we need to get accomplished and we want to get accomplished. We want to go out and save the world and do all of these miraculous and spectacular things, whether it be on your business or on your business or on your job or on your family, or whatever it may be. And certainly, as I said, Difficulties are going to arise. Situations are going to arise. There are going to be some challenges that are going to arise. But change your vocabulary from challenges to opportunities and watch God work. Change your vocabulary from concerns and worries to opportunities and watch God work. Change your mindset. Change your mindset from impossible to opportunities and watch God work in your life. Because when you begin to see opportunities, he will give you answers. He will give you solutions. He will give you ideas to take that thing that looks impossible and make it a possibility. And more than making it a possibility, it will become prosperous. It will grow. It will mature into something great and, and miraculous. So that's the word of the week, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope that it encourages you, that it inspires you, that it gives you uh, a uh, uh, some some uh, idea where you're going to go. But focus on that word, opportunity, opportunity. No more complaining, no more moaning, no more groaning, no more of, yes, no more uh, no more grumbling and moaning and, and, and seeing things as, as just being completely impossible to overcome. I want you to see the opportunity because you are the called of God. You are the called of God. So going to this week, let's make a difference in the world. God bless you and I will see you and speak with you soon. If you get an opportunity this week, Please take the time to go to Amazon.com and pick up a copy of my book, Return Home Wounded Warriors. The church is 
you. Return home wounded warriors, the church is you. And as many believers have so much to offer, but find their gifting dormant in a state of hibernation or slowly dying. Many have walked away from the faith due to unresolved disagreement and hurt, some of which has been unjustly inflicted by individuals that sit in the chairs that they occupy. But today, I call those wounded warriors home. Today, I sound a clarion call for the church to arise as the body of Christ is intended to be. Return home, wounded warriors. The church is you. And pick up my other book, No Generals in the House. There's no generals in the house. Men of God, it's time to stand up. You have been equipped through the Holy Spirit and the Word of God to invade the enemy's camp and destroy his strategies. The general is the leader of whatever home he serves. He takes responsibility whenever things are good and he does the same whenever things appear to be going bad. The general does not abandon his post because he understands that his subordinates look up to him and rely on him to be their leader. It's time to lead. No generals in the house.